morning, Captain Mays. Morning, cadets. My name is Cadet Kenlis. Today we'll be talking to you about motivation in the cadet wing and ways we can fix it. Yeah. Next slide, please. All right, here's an overview of what I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over what it is, how it is important in RTC, how it affects us, some observations I have made over my three-year career here, and solutions and questions. Next slide, please. All right, at the top you can see a dictionary type Definition, I'm going to read it out loud. It is a psychological feature that arouses an organism to action toward a desired goal, the reason for the action, that which gives purpose and direction to behavior. That makes no sense to me. Probably the same to you. What it is, though, it's what drives people. That's motivation 101. What drives people. However, it's non-tangible. You cannot touch motivation. It's, it varies among everyone. Um, gives reason for some actions and is directly related to success. Most of all, like attitude, it is contagious. Uh, Cadet Shepard, you know, all of us have motivation. Cadet Shepard, what's your motivation? My motivation was to become a pilot in the United States Air Force. And did he do it? He's not a pilot yet, but... I certainly hope so. <laughs> well, he got a pilot slot, and that's directly related to his motivation. Next slide, please. All right. Let me draw a picture to help bring the point in. Right. You have motivation up, success up, they equal each other. They are directly related to each other. One goes up, the other goes up. You can also put it this way. One goes down, success will go down. I will assure every successful person that ever was had high motivation. You don't have low motivation and high success doesn't happen. So you can apply the same thing to RTC, especially in the GMC Corps. You have those cadets, someone named with really high motivated 100. Miracle. Miracle. Yeah. His motivation is sky high. And, that, and that's being seen. You know, he wants to be here, as opposed to some others, I won't name any names, their motivation is just not here, and they are failing the program. PT attendance, the level attendance, and they just suck overall. All right. So another point is that motivation helps us focus on the end goal. All of us in here trying to become officers. A lot of times you get stuck in between. You know, the 200 and 300 year, they're really hard. With motivation, we can use it to kind of look past it. All right. The 100s and 400s, they have pretty high motivation. Maybe, maybe the 100s more than the 400s. However, it's, it's something that they use. As well, the 200s. Uh, they have FTP this semester. To get through FTP, they're going to have, have a lot of motivation to make it through Cadet Blavitz program. Just a fact of life. We use it to set our eyes on a goal, like Cadet Shepard in his example. You know, a lot of a lot of us, not us, but you guys want to be pilots. You guys use it for that. And just healthy Cadet Wing. You know, you can see it when a Cadet Wing is very healthy. A lot of motivation. Next slide, please how it affects us. This is the most important in my opinion. I've been here for two and a half years. Um, started off with Coach Shepard, Cook, a lot of us. I've, I've noticed a drop in motivation, a significant drop. I don't know the reason because of that. However, it's, it's having bad effects on us. It's leading laziness and mediocre work. A lot of us are lazy now. We just we don't want to strive to be higher. And the work that a lot of the GMC are producing is just like just meets the standard. As opposed to you gave could it, me or could I shepherd a task when we were one hundreds. Not that we were the best, however we would do pretty good at it. It's it's something that needs to be addressed. Um, as a recruiting officer, it, it's a big role, motivation. It's causing a drop in retention and positive appraisal. Positive appraisal, excuse me. Last semester we started with ninety two cadets. What do we have now? 60 something. A lot of that, I, in my opinion, is attributed to motivation. They just didn't want to be here. We lost them. We could have helped that though. All right, and positive appraisal. A lot of us network outside of RTC. What we say about RTC is true. Right? We don't, if they say, oh, RTC sucks this week, it does suck that week. All right? Or RTC is so fun, I, I love it. Then, then it is. You love it. That's why motivation has to be high. It has far-reaching effects. Uh, like I 
said, it's contagious, motivate like, excuse me, like motivation is contagious. You know, you have it in a few cadets, it'll spread the whole GMT for them. Very important one. Squadron commanders and group commanders, feedback to GMC is not taken seriously. Right? You have a cadet, cadet Joe, non-motivated cadet. Right? You tell him feedback during his midterm, midterms, you need to step your game up, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't want to be here, he's not going to take it hard. As opposed to Cadet Miracle, you tell him, hey, talk up more. He'll do it. He's motivated. Message will hit home. And MWR officer, it's not the way to fix it. We can have bowling events, snowboarding events. Just having that's not going to fix the large problem. Going bowling will not make us all happy. And only like six cadets showed up. That shows up. Next slide, please. Some observations, some good old case studies. All right. In fact, individual motivation is directly associated with success in RTC. I have Cadet Falasco as an example. DG from field training and a pilot select. He didn't get to where he is without motivation. He kept looking at the end goal. He told me a story when he was enlisted. He didn't enlist to enlist. He enlisted to become an officer. And that's something that kind of hit home with me. He's always wanted to become an officer. And he's using that motivation to keep going. Another point, motivation is associated with unit pride and morale. We're going to use our last society as an example. Remember last spring, 2008, when Ludington was it and Walton left it in shambles? We were like, the AS sucks. Um, however, you know, we bonded together. We did that POW hike up that mountain. That was crazy. But the memorial run really hit home for us. We did that. We got all the awards. We got the base people. We got online. The Air Force website. Who gets to be on that? And after that, I saw motivation just sky high. Everyone wanted to be an AES. All the active members were super proud to wear this around their shoulder. And I attribute that to motivation. And then, motivation within the cadet wing is directly associated with success. You have squadrons. The motivated squadrons are successful. The ones who aren't, are not. So you had the Alpha Americans. I apologize, I don't know exactly what y'all won, but I do know you got multiple monthly awards and you got award, award squadron of the semester. Exactly. A lot, one thing I noticed was Cadet Amigo Squadron, the cadets wanted to do good. They weren't being rewarded like, oh, if you do a good war cry, I'll give you a pizza party. No, they wanted to do it because they just wanted to. And Cadet Amigo was a very fun individual. And he spread that motivation down to his cadets. So those are some case studies, and I, I know all of you will agree with that. So, next slide, please. Right. Some possible solutions. Uh, like Cadet Bolt said in his briefing, it's not the answer is not cut and dry. But however, there's some steps that I believe we can take. So, lead labs. My very first lead lab when I was 100. I don't remember what we did. I forgot. However, I do know I left that day changed. That day changed my life. I'll tell you about that right now. So we need to have a good first impression. This last Lee Lab, or first Lee Lab, we had briefings, briefings, and briefings. You're going to kill them. Right? POC needs to show more, more motivation. That's simple enough. And more warrior at those type training, such as the candy class kind of make it seem more military related and serve it, find out what motivates our GMs. Next slide, please. All right, here's what it went over. Next slide, please. That has concluded my briefing. Are there any questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.